G'day, I am Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to talk about user interface security. Now I was at a talk uh, last November, uh, well, a conference in fact, KiwiCon 10, which is held in Wellington uh, previously every year, there's not going to be one um, this, uh, this year unfortunately, um, but uh, it's a talk on security related issues and there was one talk by this guy Chris Mulliner uh, and I apologies if I've murdered his name, um, but uh, finding and exploiting access control vulnerabilities in graphical user interfaces. And here's a, as a the PDF of the talk uh, with the, you know, all his slides and things. Uh, and he's got um, links to source code and things like that. Now, if we go back to our, our project, now one of the things in his talk, um, which I will demonstrate now, so we'll run this application. Oops, and we can in fact see that I don't have access to delete all the data, uh, rightly so, and we can see, oh look, there's, there's me, uh, and I'm not a system administrator, um, which would be very dangerous because I might be a malicious user, uh, which uh, I'm going to demonstrate right now. So, um, it's, the, the security is, is pretty basic, so we have, uh, we're just setting the enable properties of uh, the controls to false um, and that will prevent me from making changes and likewise in the on create I am setting the uh, delete all data enabled to um, button to false uh, just you know which you know in in all reasonable terms should prevent me from um, uh, deleting all data in the system but as we'll demonstrate shortly it's not going to so bring up the system administrator screen and I bring up this little utility called WinSpy++ and go over the delete all data and uh, this is a standard uh, button which is um, has a, a Windows handle and from that we can glean all sorts of useful information about it in particular that it's disabled well you know I don't particularly want that to be disabled so I will just uh, make that undisabled and I can now click on the button and delete all the data in the system. Uh, probably not what the original author of the application intended to be me to be able to do. And likewise, if I go into data entry and I find myself, oh, look, there's me. And I can then promote myself. Um, so we removed this, this dis disabled property. I'm now an administrator, uh, and then when I log in next time, I'll have all sorts of other uh, useful um, privileges. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Um, this the WinSpy tool. Uh, you can get a version of it um, from the download tools and other stuff. Um, I think it's in that one. Uh, let's have a quick look. There's a special version of, of WinSpy that he's re recompiled. Um, and there's also this unhide. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't work unless you've got Visual Studio something or other installed, because uh, it's using a, a debug version of the DLL. Um, but that's a, in fact, I'll just run that. Uh, okay, maybe we can't. Um, but anyway, it's a, it's a sort of use at your own risk kind of uh, uh, applications. Uh, the WinSpy I'm using there, um, it's WinSpy++ and it's uh, this WinSpy, uh, not that WinSpy, um, which I think is uh, spyware basically, key logging and, and that kind of thing. Um, so, but be warned if you try downloading it, uh, from Chrome, it'll uh, say that it's uh, not safe. Um, I'm not sure if that's the case or not. Uh, use at your own risk. Um, but that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Uh, basically, if you are wanting to prevent um, you know, users from deleting all your data, uh, you need to check the permissions uh, in the event rather than setting the control disabled or not. Because um, if, if the control has got a Windows handle, um, you can basically change any property you like about that control. Um, 
also the, the, the talk also demonstrated how you could hide and un unhide controls, but I couldn't get that working. So I didn't have Visual Studio installed. Um, so uh, if you're hiding a button or have got forms that you've created but aren't showing yet, um, you can actually uh, have those be shown. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, only create forms when they're, when they're actually needed and um, put your security uh, ideally in the server, which would be on uh, another machine, but also in, in, your, in your application as well. Um, so if you've got sort of multi-tier application, you want uh, security both in the client and in the server. Uh, so anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you've found it uh, useful and hopefully uh, you'll be able to write more secure applications uh, going forward. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Alistair Christie.